We are back on the Mississippi River, fishing the backwaters this time. We've been fishing the main river for the last week, and I decided instead of chasing after walleye today, I wanna to chase after some jumbo perch. They give up a good fight on some of the light gear I have, so I think today, our main goal is just to catch some perch. I fished for walleye the last week, I wanna catch some perch, I wanna have some fun. So I'm gonna try some new spots today, throw some Dubuque rigs with some fat heads. We're coming up on the spot here soon, we're gonna get all rigged up, and hopefully, we're gonna get into some nice fish. Hope you guys enjoy, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna let it sink to bottom. It is a pretty light bait. And then I'm just gonna, oh, that was a fish right there. I'm just gonna kind of drag it on bottom. I got a bait on bottom and I got a bait about a foot off bottom. So we're just gonna kind of drag it. It's a fish. Give me some good weight. You are huge, holy cow. That's the biggest one I've ever caught in my life. <laughs> this thing's huge. This thing is absolutely massive. Chunky feller. 12 incher. Look at that fella. Look at how fat that perch is. Nice little 12 inch perch. Holy cow, this thing's huge. She is a beauty. All right, and there she goes. Get this toss back out there. All right. Yeah, I know the water's old. I mean, those bait have been in there for, gosh, has to be about a week. These fish seem to be hugging the shoreline pretty dang close. I mean, I'm almost right on shore. Comes up to about four feet up there. Seems like they're hugging it pretty well. So we'll kind of stick to that. And another one. All right, get you back in the water, buddy. You're a little littler than that last one. There's gotta be just a huge school of these perch up here. Nice jumbos. There you go, buddy. I'm just gonna throw back on the same minnow. You can catch me another one. All right, let's toss back in here. Another one. It's like clockwork with these guys. All right, another little guy. I mean, this is honestly nonstop. There is a ton of fish back in this little pocket. Am I coming towards you? My, oh, dude, my spot lock came off. Sorry, guys. Weird, must have knocked it. Oh, no. I must have knocked it by accident. Sorry about that. Kind of give him some more room. I just got my bait still and I could feel it. Yeah, both of them. Should have set the hook. Watch this, give it like 10, 20 seconds. Usually that's enough time, let it sit. Give it a little movement, snag. Where are you guys from? Plain view. Oh, nice. Plain view. Another. Come here, buddy. Man, they're liking the bottom one. They're not really wanting to eat anything that's not hugging bottom. I think these fish are literally just sitting on bottom. They're not coming a foot off bottom for the other bait. They're just taking this one that's on bottom. You know what? I think I have another one right here. If As long as they want a dead one. We'll see. I'm going to chuck this thing back out there. Get back in here, drop her down, and wait another 20 seconds. All right. I don't even think that one was 20 seconds. I think we're looking more at 10. All right, buddy. I'm considering trying two jigs and let them both sit on bottom. See if I could double up that way. If they're both on bottom, they can both drag right past the fish. But if one's a foot off bottom, you might not like it as much. I'm kind of considering there's a huge school of perch right in front of us. 20 feet sitting in five and a half feet of water. Should be right here. 
they're kind of moving a little bit, but they're still following that same seam. Should be right where I cast my bait. We should do this again. I'm gonna bring an ultralight. Like a really, really light rod. Like the rod I use for trout. Like the, the Loomis I was using for trout. Just bring one of those. Make this so much more fun. Because this is kind of overkill. It's a medium light with the 2500 Stratic. A little bit overkill. Grab me two baits. I'm giving you a rod, you're gonna fish. Literally just cast, let it sit on bottom, and reel it once every minute. This is just about the easiest rig you can throw. We're just gonna put you up with a Dubuque. Should be enough weight to easily get to bottom. Just cast towards shore, let it sit on bottom, and move it once every 30 seconds to a minute. You don't need to do anything special, don't need to do anything crazy. Here, let me show you. Show you what you gotta do. First, I'm gonna take this one out of the water so I'm not illegally fishing. Okay, well, I'm gonna reel it up a little bit. All right, take it. Okay, ready? It's a Dubuque, so you have a heavier one on bottom, the other one's just gonna drag behind. Cast it up against shore. A little farther, you know, if you can. Let it sink the bottom. And then for you, honestly, just leave it on bottom. If you want to, move it a little bit every once in a while. Make sure it's dragging on bottom and just kind of hold it there. That's all you need to do. Let your bait just sit on bottom, move it every once in a while. Once you feel a tap, um, you know, set the hook. That's the most important part. How'd you manage to do that? Okay, that was a fish. That was a fish. That was a fish too. Yeah, it was stuck, but you had a fish on too. I'm gonna, I'll retie. Which one's broken off? Okay, I can make this work. It was stuck, but I think a fish brought you into a snag. It's better than a snag bringing you into a fish. Or right, wait, maybe not. Grab me two baits. Actually, you're gonna have to grab me four. I gotta throw mine out. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna let this sit on bottom pretty much and just move it every every once in a while, whatever you feel necessary doing. You're catching a fish whether you like it or not, so. Okay. One sec, I gotta fix this. Man, what just happened? Why is his mouth red? I don't know, he probably had a lollipop in there or something. Okay. Just give me a sec. Hold, drop. Perfect. Just uh, let your bait sit on bottom and, uh, you know, if you feel a, a nibble, set it. Just let her sit on bottom, you don't really need to move it too much. You can though, but then you're could possibly bring it into another snag. Let out some slack. You want to have slack line. Yeah, let out a little line and then just leave it there. Might want to reel in. Yeah, you just recast. Might get stuck on the line. Oh, I just pulled it out of the fish's mouth. You're stuck again? Oof, da. Okay, let me see. I got it. Hold this. Here, you know, I'll just cast it out for you. There you go. Yeah, just keep twitching it every off and on. Once you feel that, you know, nice juicy nibble, give her a little tap. Set the hook, put the hook in this fish's mouth, hopefully bring the fish in.
All right. Something's doing something on your line. You snagged again? You have that magical power. Toss, hold this in the water so the bait doesn't die. I got it. What did you catch? Look at that, we got someone else's bait. Free bait's free bait. I'll take you, use you for later. Get the line out of the water. All right, I'm gonna toss yours back out. There you go. There you go. Let's just, just leave it out there. I'm fishing over your line. Am I moving backward? Nope. Still spot locked. Oh, not good. It's just a G Loomis. Basically worth like five bucks. <gasps> you got one. Nice. All right, don't, don't high stick it, so keep your rod right there. Toss it over. What? Yeah, it's a great fishy. Gorgeous fish. He ate the top rig. Interesting. Might have been a little bit higher off bottom than I thought he would be. Boom, boom. Do you want to hold him? Hold him. Yeah, give him a little kiss too. A little smooch. There you are. Close your eyes. Fish. No. Close your eyes. Come on. Come on. Not kissing the fish. Can we get a picture with him? <laughs> I know you do. All right. Let me grab my phone. Wait. Okay. All right, now hold it with one hand. Well, um, you know, that's okay. Hold it, hand flat, hand flat. Just hold him like that, right there. See where you're, oh, oh. He's been through a lot today. Like that, yeah, just, just you got, it looks good. Gorgeous. A little slime ball. You caught one though. It's always a good sign. Very proud of you. I'm just tired of snags. Tired of these snags. I don't want to go in there. I'm not going to spook him. Well, there goes this rig. Please, just come out. Uh, no. I'll just cry myself to sleep. That works. I'm going to try a different rig. I'm going to throw two baits and have them both on bottom. It's going to be a recipe for a snag, but if it doesn't snag, I might actually hook two. What's up? What about it? To be an American or at least a no one free. All right. Well, let's try to drag two baits. Oh, see how long it takes me to get snagged. My guess is 35 seconds. You catching Emma? Come on, cast your bait out. Gosh, I just lost another bait. You can do it. You're not gonna hit anybody. That was a great cast. Yeah, that's pretty much where all the fish are at. Doesn't get dark for a while. Gets dark at like seven something, seven forty ish, give or take a couple of minutes. You're fishy fishy. You're fishy. Good fishy. Whoa, I just gave him a concussion. Sorry, buddy. Minner. No, oh, it's gotta be four feet deep, not even. From where I'm pulling it right now, I'm watching it hit bottom. It's gotta be three to four feet deep up there.
It's cold out here. It's like 50 degrees right now. Oh. I don't think I... Maybe... Do I, don't I have gloves in there? I would double check. I think I do have gloves. Yeah, those are gloves. All right. And we're gonna go back to where we came in. I'm just gonna use a trolling motor. I don't wanna take any chances to save myself, I don't know, 10 minutes of trolling motor. I'd rather just use a trolling motor and not destroy a lower unit. Cause this is shallow, shallow. Um, it's up quite a bit. My trolling motor would hit first. All right guys, we're gonna call it a video. I was planning to stay out here a little bit longer. I was kind of hoping to have that spot to myself so I could kind of make a video and talk a little bit more, but I didn't. There was three other boats there, and honestly, when I'm fishing next to other boats, I don't like to be too loud because people are out here to relax. If I'm out here talking to a camera, it might piss a couple people off. So I try to keep it on the DL, just kind of fish, have fun, talk a little bit, do some explanations. But we definitely caught some fish. We're here for maybe two hours. I wanted to give it a try, see how the spot was this year. And let me tell you, there was probably 30 to 45 minutes of just non-stop action. Awesome spot. I'm glad I gave it a try this year. The water is up super, super high, so we can pretty much go anywhere. But I'm going to use a troll motor on the way back and maybe give the motor a little bit of a break. I don't really want to hit anything in here. There's quite a lot of logs. So we're going to troll motor ourselves all the way back and we're going to call it a video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't the longest video, but we caught some fish. We had a good time. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. Turn on notifications. New videos every week at 11 o'clock. I'm not sure what schedule I'm going to do. I got to figure out how many videos I can make. For the ice season, I did Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm hoping to at least stick to like Monday, Friday, Monday, Thursday. At least try to get two videos out a week. So if you guys haven't already subscribed with notifications on, turn them on for some more Mississippi fishing content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.